Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out CC's CC Creations new spoiler video about the new Shire Horses with a new bridal. Um this came out while I was on vacation, so I was not able to make a video about it, but today I have my computer back and I'm back from vacation. So now I am able to film this video. Um so yeah, if I mess up my words or like um, sound a bit weird, I had two spacers put in at the dentist today or my orthodontist um, because I had two teeth growing into my tongue so we had to get those removed a couple months ago and today we got those spacers in. It's It feels really weird and... Um, it's a little hard to eat. It's also a little hard to talk as well. So, um, yeah, but I wanted to make these this video for you guys as soon as I possibly could. And, by the way, thank you so much for 17 subscribers. Um, I'm going to be commenting on a few videos later today because I saw that I got a few comments on some videos that I want to kind of answer. So, I'm going to also be doing that today. And I'll be having a video come out tomorrow with the other new horse or horses that are coming out. And, um, just so you guys know, I did do the first half of the um rainbow festival um i did not get it on camera but i kind of couldn't resist um doing it so yeah but i will be filming um the second half and um so yeah let's just go ahead and get into this video i just wanted to say that i have seen it before but i do want to show you um so yeah let's go ahead and get into it So, like I said, this one is the new Shire horse. Um, if you guys did not know, the Shires have needed an update for a while now. But, um, there is a spoiler warning. So, actually, before I get started, I just want to say, if you do not want to be spoiled in any way, do not watch this video. Um, this is not, you know, official footage. It's, um, what CC Creations has found in the game files. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. The Shire Horse. So, obviously, it's going to be more of a drafter, drafty horse, a draft horse. Um, they're going to be sold at Seas Farm. It looks like there are five here and probably one at Fort Pinta. So, maybe six. Um, so this one is a black one. So this is what it looks like, um, in the thing. So that is the walk, then the trot, and the canter, then the gallop. And then that's the fast gallop. And then the special move, they lay down. Which, then they automatically just get up. Which I feel like is a little, um, different. And then they kind of stay in the sitting position. But, yeah. So they have a black one, a gray. Like a light gray. A dark gray. A flax and chestnut. Um, like a light chestnut, and then a bay brown color. The main textures are not done yet, so all of them will turn pink. But if we go back a little bit, um, to so that they have the roach domain, they have normal, they've these braids, they have down braids, they have that. Um, they have what the they have like a updated updated version of the um Clydesdales. Then they have like what the American Quarter Horse has has they have everything but with a beard. Which is really 
cute. They've added a lot of things that other horses main styles have, but they also added two of the draft horses. They added the beard, like the Irish Cobbs, also known as the Tinkers, and the um, one main style that is a bit newer, but it's similar to the Clydesdales. Um... Okay, that was weird. Wait, what? Hold on. What was that? That was a bit strange. Okay. So these are the gates where you can actually see them. The walk looks really nice. The trot is really good as well. Um, honestly, I... I feel like they're slower gates, so that makes sense because they are a draft horse and draft horses are bigger. Um, so, yeah. I do feel like they should have like a thicker mane and tail, but that's just my opinion. Um, I like their gallop a lot. Their reverse is nice. I wish it's kind of like all the other ones. Oh, their stop is really nice. Um, it's not, they don't throw their haunches down, but they do a nice, like, what the Pertrons do, which I feel like is really good. Oh, they have a similar rear to the Pasifinos, where they, like, um, widen their back legs, but th this time they kind of kick out. Um, so that's the jump at the canter. Um... It looks really nice. I think they tuck their legs in nicely. Um, I wish they tucked their front legs a bit more. But, I mean, it looks really, really nice. Um, although their tail does do something kind of strange, in my opinion. They're also, their tail goes into the ground, which hopefully will be fixed. Um... I wish they stayed laying down a bit longer, but... Okay, they kind of just move their butt around um, for their dance, but that's okay. Um, when you're actually looking at the horse, like when you're riding it. I think it looks really nice. Um, I mean... It looks really good. I don't really see a problem with it, I guess. The tail does look a bit strange. But, I mean... It is not completed yet. So, these are the colors. So, this is like a light gray. Which, I don't really like light grays, so I probably won't be getting it. Although I do like the face. The face is really detailed. Um, I'm going to call this more of a lighter chestnut. With this one, I will probably not get either. I don't really like um, bald faces. Um, but the eyes are really cute. Um, if you guys didn't know, I love chestnuts. I love... Fox and chestnuts, but this horse just reminds me too much of the, um, of the, um, Pasifino, and I don't really like it. This one is kind of cute. I don't, I don't see dapples, so that's, that's good. Um, I don't like dapples. I love blazes. They're so cute. Um, that's maybe. Here's a gray, kind of like Ace. I feel like this could be an updated version of Ace. But, um, it's just not really for me. I feel like it's too dark of a gray. And then we have a black one, which is really cute. Um, I love the stockings. They remind me of Beezy's real life stockings. <laughs> I mean, they're so cute. And then we have this app horse, which is like the bay. Which is actually kind of cute. Um, there are dapples on it, which I don't like. Like, all over the body. So, I probably won't be getting it. So, this is the size comparison. 
So we have the starter horse and a um, Irish cob. Um, then we have a Gotham Pony and a Percheron. I can't really tell the difference with the size of the Percheron. Um, then we also get a new Western Bridal. I am so excited for this. It reminds me of a bridal that someone at my barn uses. I don't like how it goes into the um, neck of the horse, but I mean, yeah. These are wagon harnesses, probably NPC only. I love them. They are so cute. Obviously, um, I don't like wagon um, harnesses in general just because they do do this to the horse's tail. But, I mean, that's not their fault. That's just my personal opinion. Um, it kind of does glitch through their um, neck when they do do that. And I wish we could have this, not just NPC, because it is so good. I wish our stable gave us so many more discipline options, like using draft horses to pull carriages or um, doing trick riding and actual liberty. That would be so cool to do, and I wish we could do that, but obviously not. But I think that looks awesome. Um, this will be my video coming out tomorrow on Tuesday, so stay tuned for that video, but I hope you enjoyed it so much, and thank you so much for watching. Like I said, thank you so much for 17 subscribers. It means a lot, and um, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm kind of quiet. It just hurts to talk, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!